Welcome back, welcome back, any and all. Glad you all could come back to hear the word. Not only hear the word, but be doers of the word. Glory be to Ohio. And I sure hope when you woke up this morning, you told your father, you told Father God, you love him. I hope you told him you love him and thank him for waking you up. And I hope you told your loved ones that you love them. And I promise tomorrow or not, even the rest of this day. You know, um, time is running so quickly. And... We're not promised tomorrow. We're like a vapor. One day you're here, the next minute you're gone. So many people losing their lives, just dying off, you know? We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of the day. That's why I tell you that. Anyway, today, please tell your loved ones that you love them, you know? And tell Father God thank you every time you wake up, because he woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. We can't do that, okay? Today we're still in the book of Luke, chapter 15, One Sheep. Are you all are you all saved? Have you given your life to Christ Jesus? Are you reading God's word daily, preferably the King James Version of the Bible? You go down on your knees in prayer and cry out to the Father in sincerity and truth. And if you don't have a personal relationship with him, keep crying out to him till you hear from him. Don't stop crying out to him till you hear from him. In sincerity and truth. He will eventually answer you. He will. Not only that, he'll teach you the word of God. Okay? He that had begun a good work will not stop. He will continually teach you. I'm telling you, because he's teaching me. Glory be to Aya. And um, please live a daily life of repentance because we live in these fleshly bodies and the flesh is always warring with the spirit. You know, I always tell you the truth because I love you and Father God loves you more. Please have that personal relationship with the Father. Seek him by reading his word and going down and crying out to him. Right. And before we begin our reading, we're going to say a prayer for children of all ages. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Father, for every day. Thank you, Father, for your daily protection and your daily provisions. Father, thank you for giving us parents that love us and train us up by your word. Thank you, Father, for giving us siblings that we love. And thank you, Father, for teaching us to treat others the way that we want to be treated with love and respect. We love you, my Father. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen indeed. Amen. Okay, Luke chapter 15, one sheep. Tax collectors and sinners were all crowding around to listen to Jesus. So the Pharisees and the teachers of the law of Moses started grumbling. This man is friendly with sinners. He even eats with them. Then Jesus told them this story. If any of you has a hundred sheep and one of them gets lost, what will you do? Won't you leave the 99 in the field and go look for the lost sheep until you find it? And when you find it, you will be so glad that you will put it on your shoulder and carry it home. Then you will call in your friends and neighbors and say, Let's celebrate. I found my lost sheep. Jesus said, In the same way, there is more happiness in heaven because of one sinner who turns to God than over 99 good people who don't need to. One coin. Jesus told the people another story. What will a woman do if she has 10 silver coins and loses one of them? Won't she light a lamp, sweep the floor, and look carefully until she finds it? Then she will call in her friends and neighbors and say, Let's celebrate. I found the coin I lost. Jesus said, In the same way, God's angels are happy when even one person turns to him. Two sons. Jesus also told them another story. Once a man had two sons. The younger son said to his father, Give me my share of the property. So the father divided his property between his two sons. Not long after that, the younger son packed up everything he owned and left for a foreign country where he wasted all his money and wild living. He had spent everything. When a bad famine spread throughout that land, that whole land, soon he had nothing to eat. He went to work for a man in that country, and a man sent him out to take care of his pigs. He would have been glad to eat what the pigs were eating, but no one gave him a thing. Finally, he came to his senses and said, my father's workers had plenty to eat, and here I am, starving to death. I will go to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against God in heaven and against you. I am no longer good enough to be called your son. Treat me like one of your workers. The younger son got up and started back to his father. But when he was still a long way off, his father saw him and felt sorry for him. He ran to his son and hugged and kissed him. The son said, Father, I have sinned against God in heaven and against you. I am no longer good enough to be called your son. But his father said to the servants, Hurry and bring the best clothes and put, on that, put them on him. 
Give him a ring for his finger and sandals for his feet. Get the best cow, get the best cow, and prepare it so we can eat and celebrate. This son of mine was dead, but has now come back to life. He was lost, and now he has been found. And they began to celebrate. The oldest son had been out in the field, but when he came near the house, he heard the music and dancing. So he called one of the servants over and asked, What's going on here? The servant answered, Your brother has come home safe and sound, and your father ordered us to kill the best calf. The older brother got so angry that he would not even go into the house. His father came out and begged him to go in, but he said to his father, For years I have worked for you like a slave and have always obeyed you, but you have never even given me a little goat so that I could give a dinner for my friends. This other son of yours wasted... (laughs) This other son of yours wasted... Hold on. We stop. Wasted your money on prostitutes. And now that he has come home, you ordered the best cow to be killed for a feast. His father replied, My son, you are always with me, and everything I have is yours. But we should be glad and celebrate. Your brother was dead, but now he is alive. He was lost and has now been found. Mm. God's willing, on Monday we come back. And sorry about the little interruption. My page got stopped. On Monday we come back. Still in the book of Luke, chapter 16, a dishonest manager. You all tell your loved ones that you love them. We not promise tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. And tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one of some. He died for us all. And if you haven't given your life to Christ Jesus, what are you waiting for? Nobody else died for our sins. No one. Only Jesus. And he's the only way to salvation too. The only way to the Father is through Jesus Christ. No other way. If you're trying to get in any other way, you're a thief or a robber. That's what the Bible says. God the truth and every man a liar. Well, Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. That's not something up for debate or discussion. It is something we all must do, so please do it. And if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, please let it go. Please let it go. If you want your Father in heaven to forgive you for your sins and your transgressions, please forgive your fellow man. I don't care what he or she has done. It doesn't matter. Or your Father in heaven not going to forgive you. And not only that, your prayers may be hindered. I always tell you the truth because I love you and Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, from youngest to oldest alike, and a beautiful, blessed weekend as well. God bless you. Bye-bye.